Hey guys, I'm Alina and today we are going to learn conditional present in French. So let's get started. So conditional present is similar to imperative. Like in imperative, we give instructions and orders, but conditional present is just a more polite way. So why do we use conditional present to express a desire, a suggestion, a demand or to express politeness? So this is why we use conditional present and even this is how it is different from imperative. Imperative is more of an order or an instruction types but conditional present is a more polite way. So now I'll explain you the formation of the sentence and conditional present with the help of two examples. So basically we take the verb in its future sample form without adding the uh, endings of avoir. Like for future sample we take the infinitive like I'll take parler only. So we take parler and then we add the endings of avoir like for je je parlerai tu parlera like that so for conditional present we take the future sample form and remove the uh, endings of avoir so whatever we are left with will be the verb which we will use for conditional present now simply I could have just said that use the infinitive verb but let Take the example of veneer. In future sample, if you know that there are some exceptions, uh, some words are not always in the infinitive form. For example, veneer. For veneer, we don't write venire. We don't use the uh, infinitive and add the endings of avoir. We use viondre. And then we write the endings of avoir. So that is why when you remove the endings of our word, what you are left with is what you have to use in conditional present. So you can remember like this, like the endings, uh, sorry, all the verbs that are in future sample, the exceptions, that is what you have to write, like the radical which is left, this part, and of the other verbs, you have to write the infinitive. So like veneer, you write viandre, and in parle, you write parle because it is not an exception. After that, both of them are same. You have to add the endings of imparfait. Not imperative, imparfait. So what are the endings of imparfait? It's AIS, AIS, AIT, IONS, IEZ and AIENT. These are the endings of imperfect. So you will write the infinitive form or the uh, future sample form without the adding of avoir and then you will add this. So let's try. So for venir, so je, viondre and then the endings of imperfect. Je viondre, tu Viondre, il, el, viondre, no, viondre, vous viondriez, an il, el, viondre. Okay, so like this, you will do the uh, conditional present. Same here. Je parlerai, tu parlerai, il, elle parlerai, nous parlerions. Okay, so endings of future sample without avoir and then the endings of imparfait. Now we will see like in what all conditions do we use conditional present. First one is like in a hypothetical situation. 
so hypothetical situation is an imaginary situation which we express with the word see which means if now here i have taken an example if i was rich i would have bought a new car so this is a hypothetical situation now how do we form the sentence it's c plus m parfait plus conditional present so this might be confusing like in conditional present we add m parfait and now we again have to write m parfait so like this look at this sentence c je jete which tense is this this is m parfait jete it's m parfait the verb être and we have je achèterai if you notice achète plus the ending of m parfait a i s so that means this is conditional present so you can see we have c we also have m parfait we also have conditional present so that means we have used conditional present to express a hypothetical situation now how would the questions come the questions would be you will be given with c and either m parfait would be a blank or conditional present would be a blank like over here if i give you the sentence like this C J dash Rich J Tere you know well what you. So here you have to think like I have C here and I have conditional present. That means in between there would be M parfait. So you will write a T M parfait. All the other way around this would be a blank. Now you have C you have M parfait. so you will put conditional present and that is how the questions will be there in your exam so c plus m parfait plus conditional present so next we have few expressions like which we have used with c so c is also used for hypothetical situations and more three which we are going to learn so first is C plus présent plus présent, C plus présent plus impératif, and C plus présent plus future. So I'll tell you what it is. So when we have C and present, then we can write the next verb conjugated in present, or in impératif, or in future. Like here, I have taken an example. Si tu veux, je peux aller avec toi. If you want, I can come with you. So si veux, present form, per, also in present form. So if you have been given with this, this if suppose this is a blank, and you need to fill it with the correct. Uh, verb in the correct form. So what will you do? You can see if you have C over here, you have present. So in between you will have to put present. Or if this one is a blank, then you have C, you have present. Then you have three options. Either you can put present, or imperative, or future. But not always can use imperative because here just check the subject it's je and you can't use imperative with je so instead of that you can either use present or you can use future so i'll prefer present so if you want i can come with you so that is how your questions are going to come like you will be given a uh, c will always be there and one of these two and you need to find which one would be the most appropriate second one is 
C plus praison plus imperative. Now here you'll understand the difference between imperative and conditional present. So the uh, statement says, "See tu peux fermer la porte if you could close the door." Or if we say this in imperative, it will be "fermer la porte," close the door. So now you can see the difference: "See tu peux fermer la porte" and "fermer la porte." If you could close the door or close the door. Here you can see imperative is more of an order, and conditional present is a request. If you could please close the door. So here we have C, tu peux present and ferme la porte imperative. Here, if you have been given with ferme la porte and per it is in blank and you need to fill, then you have to fill it with present because with imperative we use present. But if there is present over here and this is a blank. Then you can use present or imperative or future. Next one, C plus present plus future. So C tu veux tu viendrai avec moi au cinéma. If you want, you will come. You can come with me to the cinema. So present viendra future. Again, if this blank, if this is given in the question, this is a blank. You need to put it in present form. But if this is a blank, you can put it in either imperative or present. So these are the three expressions which are used with C. Now let's do some exercise. So first one, je dash aller au marché si tu fais la ve l. So we have C, we have F, C present. So here we can put present. Je vais aller au marché si tu fais la va la va l. Je dash aimer des pommes de terre. So this one we have to do in conditional present. So aimer the in future simple. This is what we write. Ending of imperfect. J'aimerais. Nous dash nous à ce voir près de la fenêtre. Vouloir in conditional present. So it's voudre, voudre, and ending of imperfect. Voudrions. Next, si elle te donnait de l'argent, dash tu une maison. So we have si. Donne it is in present. So C present. We can add present imperative future. So I think I'll prefer future. So we write achetera. Last one. Sil dash vouloir du pain il me la diria. So we have C. So diria it is in conditional present. So C plus dash plus conditional present. We learned it. C plus imperfect. So here we write imperfect. S'il voulait du pain, il me le diria. And that was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. And click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I'm on YouTube. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, take care and bye bye.